Hello, good evening. Buenas noches. Hi, how are you? Good. Fine, thank you. All right. Fine, thank nice. you. That's nice. Okay. Good night. Hello, Lorena. Good evening. Hi. How are you? How are you, Mr. Avila? Good, good. And you? Fine, thank Fine. you. Nice, excellent. Okay, so we also have Leslie. Leslie here, and then we have Benjamin. Okay, good. How was your day, people? Tired. Okay. Busy. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Hi, good night. Hello, Leslie. Good evening. Okay, good. Um, Benjamin, where do you work? Uh, realize. Realize. Ah, yes, I've heard about that place. Where? In which, uh, in which uh, branch? Santa Tecla, San Salvador? Zacatecoluca. Oh my God, Zacatecoluca. Okay, yes. that's, that's very far. And you live in, in Zacatecoluca too? You live in Zacatecoluca? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, good. I am from, I am from uh, San Vicente. Okay. And now uh, you... I I live, I live, Zacatecoluca. Okay, good. That's nice. And you, Lorena, where do you work? At Instituto Técnico Ricaldone. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's great. And what do you teach? Uh, no, I'm not a teacher. Okay. Just, I am a gestora laboral. Okay, so that's uh, from, uh, let's say, the like management of work, labors, uh, labor management. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, that's okay. it. Yes, that's the name. All right, very good. That's nice. Okay, good. And, oh, hello, Arely. How are you? We can hear you. Your microphone is off. It's off. Just turn on your microphone in the computer. Yes. Hello. Okay, there you go. Okay. That's correct. Now we can Hi, hear you. thank you. And you? All right, Hi. good. Nice, excellent. Okay, meeting new people. Okay. Where do you work early? Uh, I work um, uh, Oficinas Palermo, oh, okay. Jaletona. All right, good. That's good, excellent. And then we have Carla Youngman. Okay, Carla Youngman. All right, good. How are you, Carla? Carla, are you there? Hi. Oh, yes, there you are. How are you, Carla? Hello, how are you? Good, good. Nice. Nice, nice, excellent. Waiting for the rest of the group. Okay. Uh, probably, yes, uh, yes. Okay, good. Now we're gonna have a little activity. Okay, what level is this? Level? Uh, Pre? Pre -inter intermediate. Intermediate one. Uh -huh. One, okay, Pre good. One. How, many, how many levels have you studied? Four. One. Before this one, only one? Yes. Okay. Which, in, which level did you start, Lorena? Um, Principium 3. Oh, you, okay. You, you began with uh, begin Principium uh, 1, 3. Okay. Yes. Good. And then the others started after. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to do a little activity, right, to get to know each other. For example, the Lorena, tell me an, a number from one to 10. Four. One, four. Okay, good. Yes. Or left or right? Right. Right, okay. So then I am one. Well, you say Benjamin is two. Areli is number three. And Elizabeth Garcia, you are number four. Okay, so then uh, 
Elizabeth, you are going to tell me four sentences about yourself. Para que la conozcamos, four sentences about yourself. Uh, let's see. Pre intermediate one. Hello, you can listen? Me? Yes. Okay. Uh, four, four, sentences four sentences about okay. yourself. Um, my name is Elizabeth Garcia. Okay. I am 40 years old and I work in Galaxy Bowling. Okay. And I have a one song. Okay. That's it. Very good. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Now, Elizabeth, tell me one number from one to ten. Um, five. Five. Okay. Left or right? Left. Okay. Left is one, two, three, four, five. Arely. Okay. Arely, five sentences about yourself. Um. My name is Arely. I work in the Bordia de Tona. Um, my profession is accountant. Um, uh, I am very happy. Okay. Uh, um, I like studying English. Okay. English. All right. I um, only only okay very good okay Arely tell me one number from one to ten um sorry tell me one number from one to ten Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, one number. One number. Ah, okay, three, three. 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 Okay, good. Left or right? Uh, right. Right. Okay, right is Benjamin, me, and Lorena. Okay, Lorena, you're number three. Easy. Three sentences about yourself. <laughs> Thanks, God, for that. <laughs> well, uh, my name is Lorena Estrada. I have 37 years old. I have three children. I am um, married and I work at Instituto Tecnico Ricardón. Okay, good. And you work there in the offices, right? Yes. So in the labor management. Uh, yes, in the uh, professional center education. Okay. At the... Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, now, uh, Benjamin, uh, Lorena, tell me one number from one to 10. Uh, 100, two. 100. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two. two. Two sentences. Okay, Benjamin, two sentences about yourself. Yeah. My name is Benjamin Esquivel. Okay. Uh, I live Zacatecoluca. All right. Uh, I I have the twenty nine year old. Okay. Uh, I work in Realice. Okay. Uh, I am I am scary. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you don't have to be scared, right? right. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I am... I am fine. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. You said more than two sentences. Good. Okay, Benjamin, tell me one number from one to ten. My number is, is two. 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 Okay. Carla. Two sentences about yourself. Hi, my name is Carla Tamara Yukman. Uh, I'm from El Salvador. 
Um, I work in Farlab. My professional is a content. I have a song. Only. Only. Okay, very good. Leslie. Hi. Okay. Tell me, let me see three, six letters in your name, Leslie, six letters. Tell me six sentences about yourself. Um, I, my name is Leslie Gomez. Um, I live in San Salvador. I work in, in Banco Promerica. Um, yes. Only? Okay, good. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and Claudia, Claudia Carcamo. Let me see, Claudia, seven letters, Claudia, in your first name. Tell me seven sentences about yourself. Claudia. Oh, yes, there she is. Hi, good night, sorry. Hello, no problem. Uh, my name is uh, Claudia Carcamo. I live in San Salvador. Um, I work in Banco Promerica. Um, I'm married and studying uh, business administration. Uh, mom, two children mm -hmm. only. Okay, mom, <laughs> two children. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good. Okay, so then about myself, I can tell my name is Luis Avellan. Okay, you can call me Luis, right? Uh, well, I work here in Gas Corporativo. Uh, sometimes I also work at PUCA and the university. And then I, I like to teach English. I have taught English for more than 25 years, maybe. Okay, so um, uh, I like to eat a lot. Okay, especially typical food. And uh, I like to listen to music, sports. Uh, and driving, okay? I like driving long distances, okay? So those are some of my hobbies, okay? So that's about myself. Too. All right, so then uh, now, uh, remember the idea here is to, to train your ear to, uh, for you to listen uh, English. So I try to speak English most of, most of the time, okay? If, uh, if there is a moment that you need to say in English, no problem, right? And, and then, um, and the other one is, for example, the uh, try to practice English all the time. With this exercise, for example, que acabamos de hacer, you see that you understand that you can uh, give information about yourself, okay? So that is the, the idea here, right? Just to see, for example, the uh, how to how to practice English all the time. English is a matter of practice. Practice, practice, practice. No tengan pena, don't be shy, don't be afraid. In this group, you can, me pueden preguntar, interrumpirme las veces que quieran, no problem. Okay. Eh, cuando avancen en la plataforma, si quieren que veamos un tema que no les deja avanzar, me lo dicen, and no problem. Okay. So then we can, the idea is uh, que todas las dudas que vayan teniendo, leave it clear, no problem, okay? Okay, so then uh, don't worry if you ask me questions. Okay, good. Don't worry, Leslie, don't worry, okay? <laughs> yes, uh, the vocabulary is one of the problems for everybody, okay? This is uh, lo que Leslie dice, is something that really, uh, that's the base, right? For example, that's the base for learning a language, vocabulary. Uh, Muchas veces uno dice, yo lo entiendo y lo leo, pero cuando quiero decir algo me cuesta, right? Cuando right. quiero decir, why? Because a veces por la pronunciación que no estamos muy seguros, nos sentimos inseguros, no lo decimos porque se me equivoco y digo otra cosa. Ok, eh, a veces porque uno se da cuenta de que quiere decir algo y no encuentra la palabra exacta, pero sí tiene la estructura gramatical. Ajá. Ok, esa es la falta de vocabulario, entonces, pero eso no quiere decir que es problema de inglés sino que es cuestión de ir leyendo, de ir practicando, de manera que se vaya adquiriendo vocabulario. ¿Cómo adquirimos vocabulario? En español, escuchando. Speaking. 
hablando, listening, listening eh, reading, mm -hmm. la, mejor, la mejor fuente de, de vocabulario en cualquier idioma es la lectura, right? Eh, cuando se está aprendiendo un idioma, no importa que sean novelas, el, el Quijote o la, la Ilíada, right? No, eh, tienen que ser incluso hasta pasquines, hasta historietas, porque hay vocabulario de niños, right? En, eh, y eso es lo que uno no ne que necesita ir aprendiendo. Ok, so, don't worry, Leslie. Eh, si más adelante tiene un problema, si gusta, podemos, puede también llamar a las oficinas, right? Ahí le pueden ellos... Eh, orientar mejor con eso los grupos, pero yo diría que no se desanime, right? Eh, que la idea es echar para adelante. Don't worry, ¿ok? Aquí le damos entre todos. Good. So then, eh, the idea is to practice more. You will see the exercises on the, eh, for example, the, the screen here. Let me share the platform. Here. Okay. Now this is the, the platform the platform that you have for the exercises. And the first uh, the first unit or the section is please call me Beth. Okay, if you see in this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Okay, and you can see here, for example, the, the idea in Spanish, right? So this is what we are going to do in this moment, watch a video. Okay. Let me share the sound here. Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. To learn how to do so, listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to and don't forget to practice it as well. Okay, here we have this is the conversation between David, David and Beth, right? For example, we have the first one, which is uh, Benjamin. Okay, first, I'm going to play it again, okay? Pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation, right? And after uh, Benjamin, you are going to read the part of David and uh, Claudia, you are going to read the part best, okay? But first, first, listen, okay? Listen again. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. 
Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son He is here. Who's Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A R Z A. Okay. But please call me. Okay, good. Ready, Benjamin <clears throat> and Claudia? Uh, just uh, repeat this? Yes. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beep. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How, how about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. So he is here. Who's Song? How? Song he? Who's she's, Song here? She's, she's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where? Where? She from? Where is Korea. she from? Korea. Let's go and say he and say hello. Sorry. What's your name? What's your last last again, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A E R C A A G A R Z A. Okay, very yeah. good. Excellent. Very nice. Good pronunciation. Okay, uh, Lorena and Arely. Okay, Lorena, you read the first part and Beth, uh, Arely, you read the second part. Okay? Okay, okay. Go ahead. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico, it's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Oh, good, Song He is here. Who's Song He? She's my classmate, we're in the day math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G G A R Z A. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now, uh, Elizabeth, you are you read the part of David, and uh, Carla, Carla, you read the part of. Beth. Okay. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I am from Mexico. Oh. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Song he, song he is here. Who's Song He? She, she is my classmate. Where is the Sang Math class? Where is she from? Korea, let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last again, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. 
Uh, how do you spell that? G A R C A. G I A R C A. Very good. Excellent. Okay, uh, Leslie. Okay, now you read the part of David. Okay. And Claudia, please again, you read the part of Beth. Okay. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Soon he is here. Who soon he? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-C-A. -A. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, people. Okay, so this is, you know, um, let's say like a tip also for practicing your pronunciation, intonation, okay, uh, reading aloud. Leer en voz alta when you are in your house, uh, when you are studying is good, right? You can also use your cell phone, okay? Your cell phone to record your voice. Y se pueden grabar and after you can listen to yourself, okay, to, to practice, right? Pronunciation, intonation, and get more fluency, okay? I think it's in fair. this moment, in this moment, there is no problem with the pronunciation. I think that you have, just need more practice, more practice. Yes, ben uh -huh, Benjamin. Um, what mean? He, he. No, Sung he. Sung he. This one? Yes, yes. yes, it's, the, yes. it's the last name. Uh, it's a name from Korea. Sung he. It's like Luis Aveyang, right? So it's name and last name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, no meaning in Spanish or no meaning in English. Okay. Sung he oh, is the oh, oh. Korean name. Okay, for example, you say Luis Avellan is Salvador, I mean, a Spanish name, okay, Spaniard. Okay, Benjamin Esquivel, but this is Song He from Korea. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, questions about vocabulary, other words, new words, new phrases. Is it clear? You understand perfectly? Everything is okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay, good. When there is a word, si se encuentra una phrase, a new word or something, let me know, okay? F. Okay. Where are you on he? She's my classmate. E A. Okay. Now let's see the next one. So this is the introduction. Then we have this one, which is um, Elizabeth, can you please read? this uh, objective here. Okay. By the end. By the end of the lesson, participants will be able to understand and use positive adjectives. My, your, his, he, its, or, there, in order to introduce their names and to express possession. Okay, good. So now we are going to practice with the possessive adjectives. When you say my car, my house, your house, his house, her, uh, her dog, uh, you say it's, it's food, our and their. 
my remember the go with I. Now let's see the video and in the video you will see the examples in an explanation about the possessive adjectives. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, their. Today, we will go over the possessive adjectives. Let's listen and look at the chart. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're <clears throat> my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. They're equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It's. Our. Their. I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Okay. His, her. Remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Okay, now take a look at this. And this is... Okay, when we talk about I, it's because say I is with my, something about me, right? When we have you, okay, I refer, for example, uh, my name is Luis, okay, and your name is Claudia, right? My name is Luis, your name is Benjamin. Okay, you, you. Okay, you, okay, um, but there is another one. Let me see. A veces confundimos algo. Let me see here. Okay, sometimes you say uh, your your name is uh, let's say Carla. Okay, the name is Carla. Okay, your and accountant okay so sometimes there is a little confusion right when we uh, speak with when you say your name and you're an accountant okay so the first the first your is the possessive okay the first your is the possessive the other your is the contraction of? You are. Exactly, you are, okay? But sometimes in the, when we speak, they sound similar, right? They sound similar. But the context, 
the context is different, right? Because if you say, for example, you're an accountant, you don't say, hey, tu un contador, I mean, tu the possessive, right? Tu contador, right? Now you say only, you can say your accountant. For example, you can say Carla is your accountant. Look. Okay, this is your, the tu eres, right? And your, the possessive. Okay. You see the content, the content and the context is different, right? Because probably you have a company, you have a company and Carla is the accountant of that company. Okay, and then you say she is your accountant. Okay, so then this is, you know, some con little confusions that probably sometimes, okay, you will find. But then you say, I, my, you is your, for singular, okay, for singular. Then we have he, his, <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is another confusion, because remember that uh, here in Spanish we have, we have su, para él y para ella, y es lo mismo. Okay, su nombre es Lorena, su nombre es Benjamin, right? Okay, por eso los mexicanos dicen su mamacita suya de usted, right? Because they don't get confusion, and they say su. Okay, his, in English they have his for men and her for women. And then there is no confusion, right? When you say his name is Benjamin and her name is Elizabeth, okay? You don't never, never, never <coughs> say her name is Benjamin or his name is Elizabeth, okay? So that is a mistake, okay? We say his name is Benjamin, Benjamin. Her name is Arely, her name is Claudia, her name is Lorena. Her name is Leslie, her name, oh, his name is Andy, and her last name is Carla, okay? This is for men, for women, and this is for objects, for animals, okay? The cat, uh, the, uh, do you have a pet in your house? Who has a pet? No pets, no dogs, no cats? No. No? No. no. Okay, good. No pet lovers in this, uh, in this class. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, okay. Then you say, for example, the, suppose we have uh, the house. Okay, you have a house. Okay. What color is your house? What color is your house? Uh, let's see, Leslie, what color is your house? My house is white. Okay, my house is white. Now listen to this. Leslie has a house. Okay, Leslie has a house. Its color. I'm sorry. It's okay, Lorena. Its color is white. Okay, cuando digo its color is white, ¿está hablando de Leslie o de la casa? House. House, la casa. house, house. right? Okay. House. Leslie house. has a house. Uh -huh. Her house, correct. I'm talking about her house. You see, this is, así es como se juega con nuestros pronouns, right? You say, for example, Leslie has a house. Its color, it's white. And then we say, okay, its color referring to the house. Okay, I have a dog. Its name is uh, Brandon. Toto. Toto, right? Okay, its name is, and then you say its name is. Okay, and then I have a son. His name is Luis. Okay, I have a daughter. Her name is Florence. I have a dog. Its name is Toto. Okay, uh, we have a dog. Okay, our dog's name is Toto. Okay, our dog's name, plural. 
Okay, and this one I told you this is singular and there is another one that is your in plural. Okay, this is where you talk about, for example, a group. Okay, then for example, I say this is my, this is my class and this is your class. Your class is the group, okay? Then when you say the ustedes, right? So this is what we use here. And then they, we, our, they, and their. Okay. Questions? Your is singular and plural. Exactly, depending on context. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, when I say Claudia, suppose I say Claudia, and let's see, and Lorena, I say, bring me, bring me your books. Okay. In this case, your is plural, but not because of the books. It's plural because I am talking to Claudia and Lorena. Okay, you can say, traiganme sus libros, right? And if I say here only, Lorena, bring me your book. Okay, and this one is singular. Okay, because it's only one subject, solo un subject. Lorena, traigame. Okay, su. In here, Claudia and Lorena, traiganme sus. Right, so then this is the context, right? And the context depends on the subject. Okay? If here, si aquí tengo más de una, more than one person, then you're gonna use plural. If here is only one person, then this one is singular. Okay? <laughs> okay, suppose um, if I say uh, Benjamin and Areli, oh, and Andy, Andy's here now, yes? Are you here, Andy? No. Sorry? Uh, Andy, via Andy. So, uh, Andy aquí, no. No, he left. Okay, so then for example, if I say Benji and Elizabeth, okay, tell me your favorite colors. And me? My mm -hmm. favorite color is black. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. My favorite color is white. Okay, you see, I said, I said Benjamin, Elizabeth, tell me your favorite color. Okay, plural, your plural. And if I say, uh, Areli, tell me your favorite food. My favorite food is um, uh, tacos. Tacos, okay, good, <laughs> excellent. Good, good, good. And then, for example, when you say your tacos and your color, so you are using your in singular and plural, okay? The same but different context. Okay. Okay, people, questions? No, okay. Uh, remember that sometimes probably the, the, the concept is easy but to take it to the practice is a little bit difficult, right? Or sometimes it's, a, it's usually to make a, a mistake because eh, hay que acostumbrarse a esto, right? Y eso lleva más tiempo que el entenderlo, okay? For example, when I say, um, eh, I have 
three friends, okay? Two boys and one girl. My first, na uh, my first friend's name is Roberto. His last name is Garcia. Okay, my other friend, his name is Julio, and his last name is uh, Espinosa. Uh, and my friend, Maria, okay, her last name is Alexeira uh, Martinez. You see, I'm using his and her. But sometimes you have to practice this in order not to make mistakes. This is what you have to remember. Okay, now let's see. There is a... Now let's check. It's on. All right. Now look at this. Okay, good. Lorena, can you please read these instructions here? Yes. Instruction. Complete these sentences by choosing the proper form of B or the correct possessive adjective. Very good. Here we have. Okay, Lorena, tell me the first one. Okay. My name R is or my am. name is is okay. Good. Arely, number two. I from Mexico. Uh, my my family is Mexico City. Okay. Good. Uh, Claudia, number three. My brother, R. My brother, no. is singular or plural? Uh, is singular. Uh -huh. Is. Is, that's correct, okay. My brother is, is. okay, yes. Good, uh, Benjamin, number four. Hey. His, his yes. name is Carlos. His, his name is Carlos. It could be. Her. Yes, right. His, because his is for One. man. Okay, yes. good. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth, number five. Your, Your name is on he. Okay, your name, sure. Oh no, her, her name is Sanghi. Her name is Sanghi, are my. you sure? My, why my Lorena? Because she's talking about herself. In the second part in the sentences, she says, I'm 20 years old. That's so correct. She, she's talking about uh -huh. herself. Then a, one a strategy, one technique, one tip. Porque esto le sale a veces en los, in the quizzes, right? You can see, for example, that she's talking about herself. You say, my name is Songhi Park. I'm 20 years old. Okay, so she's talking, I am, about herself. Okay, Carla Jungman. My sister is, is, that's correct, is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Thank you, Leslie, number seven. I am Elizabeth, but every young calls my bed hair. Last night is Silva. Okay, remember this one is similar to number five. I am Elizabeth, but everyone my. calls me bed. My. My. Uh -huh. my last name is Silva. My last name is Silva. Okay, it's similar. So, but they invert it, right? They invert it. Thank you. Okay, Lorena, number eight. 
Number eight. Um, I must think. <sighs> I don't remember. I already do it. But I think it's I'm. I'm. I'm a student at City College. Okay, good. Uh, Elizabeth, the last one. R. My parents uh, are in Canada on vacation. Okay, my parents are in Canada on vacation this week. This week. Okay, let's see. Show the answers. R is R, this is correct. I'm, yes, is correct. My, yes. My, yes. Yes, my, and is. All of them are correct. Okay, so then we have submit. And then we have 25 points out of 25 points. Okay, uh, this is something that we have to do every, every day. Uh, la plataforma, ustedes la tienen ahí y pueden avanzar al ritmo que quieran, right? Uh, so when you stop, when you stop for, for some reason, then uh, that you need help, you can ask, okay? And, and you have to do all the exercises and try to do them, you know, every week, every day, so that you don't stay, that you don't fall behind, right, in your classes. Okay, so this is the first one. My name is David Garza. I'm from uh, Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. Uh, his name is Carlos. Uh, my name is Song Hee Park. I'm 20 years old. Uh, my sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. I'm Elizabeth, uh, but everyone calls me Beth. Last name, uh, my last name is Silva. I'm a student at City College, and my parents are in Canada on vacation this week. Problems with the vocabulary, people? No? No. No, no problem so far. So far, so good. <laughs> what is so far so good? Hmm? Son. Uh, so so far, so good. Let me see section. I lost the chat. Okay, look in the chat. It says so far, so good. It means up to this moment, until this point, no problem. Okay? You say so far so good, it means up to now, okay. Okay, so then it means we have no problem. Now, oh, wait a minute. Did you see it? Pudieron verlo? No. No, huh? No. Yes, it's the only. Okay, here, so far, so good. Oh, yes, right? Hi. Yes, so okay. far, so good. So far, so good. It's an expression, yes. right? Idiomatic, es una expresión idiomática, they say so far, so good. Everything is fine. Okay, so then uh, let's see before we go, before we go, before we go. I have a question. Okay, you, yes. Do you have um, more exercise to do? Uh, because in the platform, is um, they don't have a lot of exercise. Yes, I know. Or to practice and maybe you have an idea about how can we practice a little bit 
Well, yes, no, I understand. Uh, look, in this moment, uh, hay un tema de, por la cuestión de, de derechos, que no podemos pasar algunos. Es aquí, voy a, voy a hacer yo unos para ustedes, se los voy a pasar mañana, y otros se los, I'm going to give it to you through the WhatsApp group. Okay, so then okay. Uh, from there, uh, is everybody in the, in the WhatsApp group? Yes. 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 yes, everybody. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. because then I will, I will, I can give you information through the WhatsApp. Okay, and I will try to get some uh, because I have to, I have to be careful with the, with the, uh, uh, the, the copyrights. Okay, sometimes and then I have to, I have to be careful with that. Okay, so then that's why I have to prepare some material by myself, and then I can send it to you through, through WhatsApp too. Okay other kind okay. of material. I appreciate but, that. No, 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 I appreciate your, your request uh, because I need that. I need that feedback from you, okay? When you give me that feedback, I know that you need more, okay? And don't worry about that. That's my job, okay? If I, and I can do it, it's my pleasure, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, let's see the next one. Uh, we have uh, this one. We only introduced this three more minutes before you go to sleep. Okay, then uh, Benjamin, can you please read this one by the end? Okay, by the end of the lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with me using uh, what? question word. WH questions? Question. WH? WH. Uh -huh. WH question, word, what, who, here, when, and how. Okay. And how, and how, right? So then we are going to practice using questions with what, who, where, when, and how. And like this. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH question words. What, who, where, when, and how. First, let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH Questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Whose son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are the classes? They're really interesting. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word so you know what you're being asked. This way, you will be able to give a correct answer. Who's son he? He's my classmate. What are your... Okay, so when we have WH questions, okay, the WH questions are the ones that we use to get more and extra information. For example, when I say, what's your name? Okay, say my name is Beth. Where is your friend? He is in class. Who is some he? Okay, she's my classmate. It's different when you ask yes, no question, right? For example, uh, suppose I say, Lorena, is your, is your second or your middle name Patricia? No. Okay, you see? But I don't get the information I want. Lorena is giving me a, a good answer, okay? Because my question is yes or no. Is your middle name Patricia? They say, no, it isn't. If I want more specific information, I can say, Lorena, what is your full name? Okay, and then she will say, Lorena, the middle name, the first name, I mean, the last name, the two last names, right? The first and the second last name. Okay, I say full name, the complete name. Okay, so then these are the WH question means information question. WH is because all of them, begin with WH. Okay, what, where, who, what are, where are. Uh, for example, what are your classmates like? 
Look at this one. What are your classmates like is the personality. No lo que le gusta, right? Be careful with that, okay? What are your classmates like? Oh, they're very nice. They are very friendly, okay? They are very, uh, let's say, uh, uh, helpful. But you say, what do your classmates like? Oh, they like English. They like food. They like movies. They are different, okay? So that's what, uh, this is just the introduction. Tomorrow we are going to practice in groups uh, these questions, okay? So please study these uh, questions and answers because that's going to be the oral practice for tomorrow. Okay, so it was my pleasure to meet you today, okay? Nice class, I know that you are sleepy right now or you're going to do exercise in this moment. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, with a pillow. Cooking <laughs> for tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> cooking. Oh my God, well, yes, that's terrible. Okay, good. Well, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. You tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, good practice. night. Practice. Uh, uh, good night. The homework, there is a homework. Hay una tarea. Okay. Okay. Sueñen en inglés. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.